I thought I'd get that out. I'm Phil, but I didn't. But I tell you what, landscaping is definitely the way to get a good workout. And uh, if you're a consumer or a landscaper, if you're not sweating like I am now, when you're doing this job, you're in the wrong job. So keep at it. We're on the steps here now, and uh, it's coming out. And uh, when we first looked at this, this was a solid mass of concrete and brick. And you look at it and you think, oh, that's gonna be tough. Well, a lot of people would say, oh, let's use a Kangol. But I, Kangol's are great when you're doing open cuts and row and on civils, but yeah, I'm on some job that is, but certainly with this, a good sledge, 20 pound sledge and a couple of chisels, chop away at the right parts, the crucial parts, you can get to the bottom of it, break through, and all of a sudden, it's funny, clients sometimes say that you're not making progress, and all of a sudden, it's there, you know, where I'm sure you never thought that the way we were working that this would come out as fast as it is, so we're back in the good books. There's a will. There's a way. Now's apparently, and I, don't, I believe it's the case that this can go through this uh, spam box and uh, really feels that you haven't kept him updated and informed of what's going on. But the fact is, we haven't, unfortunately, uh, it generates a little bit, not necessary distrust, but confidence, I would say. But you know. You could see by this where we were earlier, what we've achieved today. We've probably got half a skip filled out. We've done an awful lot of work, and already, if you can start digging out and getting some of your map away and start constructing in the same day, that's progress. So, just to give you an update, what we're actually doing here, I've got these blocks, I've just laid them out dry now, and we start putting some concrete in to start to form the steps. So, it's a start, right from the word go. Well, here we are, and uh, we're forming the steps in concrete. I roughly did the steps yesterday where I thought they, they were going to be, and I mean roughly, it was, it was measured, and uh, I've had to top up uh, down the face of it and over the top, two inches down the face and uh, three inches over the top with a finer concrete ready to take the tread, the tread being the slab what we're going to walk up. Now hopefully these would have, this one now would have gone off, uh, not gone off, but gone off enough for me to allow me to put the next step in because that'll, that's the next stage where I'm going to be at. So um, you need to move on rapidly with steps as and when you can because it can be a slow process. But I've shut this with a 10 by 2 with the ammo, making sure, really, you could use a boy braking poker, we're not on a big commercial site here, we haven't got one here, unfortunately, but as you can see, we well, won't be able to see from that angle, as I'm tapping this, it is going down, so, but we are going to face off this with a, a granite product, we're going to clad to it, so all being good, you'll be able to see this in the next couple of days. I started to give you a regular update. Excuse me for the Jeremy vine in the background, but as you can see, that's the steps formed, and we've got just under 200, about 185 mil for each step coming up, and that will allow us then to put a unit on the top, and we're going to stick that with a map over. As you can see, it's pretty accurate to say the least. But the important thing is that what we're doing here is that we are going to use the map eye to stick the tread down and the reason for that is simply that map eye won't come off and there's nothing worse 
if you're on a patio, you've got a loose slab, you're not necessarily going to trip over so much. If you trip over here, you're likely to do fall down the steps. But that map eye will, will ensure that it'll maintain its integrity and secure that tread to the concrete. Just get that burr off and then it'll be flat. I just want to show you is that this is the map eye, okay? So you can familiarise yourself with the product that we're actually using. There you are, look, so you know, map eye for stone and porcelain, rapid set. Um, there it is, uh, exterior. There for exterior application. So there we are, in grey. Brilliant product. But when we use it as much as we're going to be using when we're using those steps now, you want to mix it up and have it readily available in a bucket. So we've bought the Pro Mixer from Class Class Plugs. It's from B&Q. It's not an expensive one, but it will do the job for mixing because there's nothing worse when you're using your cordless to mix this stuff up and it puts a bit of strain on the motor. So this is the Class Plus for tiling adhesive grout and it's got a great long paddle mixer on there and you'll be able to see that in another video when we mix it.